That's a great start. One for three. We're gonna be gold today, boys. What's up, guys? Been about a minute before we've done a long video, but today we're going to do a speed challenge. If you haven't been watching Unfinished Business, go check it out, but we've been doing a weekly challenge where we've been doing, you can take as many discs as you want that adds up to a certain speed. So last week I did 20, played over at Calvert, smashed my record of how, uh, my uh, score rating. And so definitely not going back there and playing that course. So I'm at a different course today. Today's speed challenge is 32. All right, so let's start with my fastest speed all the way down to my lowest speed. I've got one, two, three, four, five discs I'm throwing here today. I am taking the DGA Proto Driver from Katrina Allen. Um, their speeds aren't out for this yet, but they say it's an 11 speed. So we're gonna call it 11. That is gonna be my bomber. I'm taking a Cap Raptor, speed of nine, very overstable. Gonna take a Rift, speed of five here today, which is gonna be like my straight mid-range. Gonna take my Savior, which is my approach. And then I'm taking the Steady BL, which is the speed of two. And that gets me to exactly, I think, 31, if I can do math correctly, which I probably can't. So yeah, let's see how well we can do today. The goal, I'm gonna say, on a normal day, if I had my all my bag here, I probably could shoot four under pretty easily. So we'll make the goal four under today and see how it goes. Sorry, I had some people roll up on me on the first tee. I threw a rift off the tee. So this hole is about 310. Ugh. All right, taking par, moving on. This hole, hole two, 250. Baskets over here on the right. Gonna throw a little cap raptor around this tree. And I always yank it in front of the camera. I ruin this hole every time. I don't know how I do this. We've actually ended up in a decent spot, so the roll away factor here is very real, but we're just going to run it. Really soft bid, because we really want to birdie two out of the first three, so we've got to get this one, I feel like. There it is. Boom. Suck it, Matt. All right, this hole you can't see, but it's behind this tree, 260 uphill on the hill. Got to throw a wide forehand shot with the Raptor here, Cap Raptor. Put enough power onto this. Get there. Get there. Oh yeah, we're parked, baby. Dude, we're so back. Okay, so front camera action. Really bad news. So it landed. Let me see if I can show you. Landed here. Right? Guess where it is. Let me show you from behind the basket. Baskets here, rolled down the hill. Celebrated way too early, dude. One of the worst rollaways I've ever had. I've never had a rollaway on this hole, so now I'm way down here and it's all right, we're still gonna make this. Through this tree somehow, I have no idea. That happened. Oh my gosh, dude, this is unbelievable. This past weekend I played it and I had three birdie to bogeys just like this in this, but. Really, it's pretty bad. All right, even par. This sucks, dude. So I got a little bit of walk to the next hole, and here I was thinking, walking up the hole three basket. I'm going two down the first three holes, and a thousand rated, I think, is eight or nine under. I was like, is it possible? No. Nope. That hole snapped me back into reality right there with that roll away. Even par, going in the four. It sucks, dude. Oh, that's terrible. Please get down. That was the best kick I've ever could ask for. So I love throwing little forehand up shots, but um, it's so wide over here. I feel like I have to throw a backhand. That's gotta die quickly. There must be some headwind there because that did not move. So it's early in the round on hole four, but this feels like a make or break putt right here. Like I need to save this to have a good round here. I mean, it was 15 feet. I really shouldn't have said make or break putt. I mean, I could have thrown that in with my eyes closed. All right, hole five, 230. So it's kind of short, but it's way uphill. So it's gonna play more like 270. So you're gonna take a little rift here and just throw right at the basket. Ballooned it. Oh, it gets there. It's short. All right, so we got really unlucky here. The funniest thing just happened. Two people are like sprinting and like, I just let them play through. And a guy just is playing like the fastest golf and yeah, he's parked like every hole that I've watched him run. He's like running with like three discs. Anyways, 
This looks like Circle's Edge. I need this for a birdie here. We gotta get one of these to fall. A little hyzer putt here. Oh, dead center. All right, this is hole six, 280 downhill, but it's the opposite of the last hole. Plays more like 200. Gonna throw a little flex forehand shot here. We are one under right now. It's hard to think that we're not three under because of that birdie to bogey on hole three, but that's golf. So let's see if we can keep it rolling here. One under going into the back nine would be uh, good for shooting four under today. And I yanked that so far left. I have yet to figure out that disc and it shows. So there's a choice to be made here. I can try to run this and make it and get birdie, get the two under, or I can lay this up and move on at one under. Because if I miss and this rolls out, it could be a bogey. So I think I'm gonna... That was a hard layup. Let me see, let me give it a little bid with the savior and see. Well, this is, wasn't a very good layup because now I've got the same distance I had on four. It's all right. I'm making everything right now, so we're good. All right, hole seven is 265 uphill. Really awkward. The basket's just left of that pine tree, so I'm going to throw the uh, proto driver and see if I can get a little flex action around. I hit it perfect. Caught a branch. Circle's out right. All right, so another little tester. Circle one edge or circle two, we'll see. I'm not gonna jump it anyways. We need this though. Next uh, three holes is what we call amen corner here. So, need this. And I sissied it. All right, so this is the, this is hole eight, 295. Gotta thread something right down the middle. I usually like to flex a forehand shot, but I don't really have that disc. So we're gonna throw the rift on backhand and hopefully just lace the, uh, the gap. So, here we go. Flip. All right, we can get him up and down from there. I've actually never been this far left before, so uh, we'll see. We're gonna throw a little forehand shot up next to the basket, tap in, move on. Sit. Yeah, that went about 30 deep. We're screwed. This got like the nastiest roll away ever. So, gotta go right through these old sticker bushes if I don't do a split and that sucks see this is what I'm talking about this hole you could just easily bogey if you just go too far long on the up and that sucks man the savior has been a really rocky disc for me to learn I've been going long on every upshot so I got to figure it out all right so we're now on nine we're even par 288 got to go uphill and then I'll drift to the right so I'm gonna throw a little Anheuser on this rift and See if we can get it to home. Come on, finish. All right, we'll see. It's it's somewhere down there, we'll see. So this turned out really good. So, what did I say? As long as we got the one under going into 10, we'd be feeling really good, but did not mean to do a dumb upshot last hole and get a bogey there. You know what's really sad is that we went from birdie to bogey park job on hole three, and then we bogeyed that last hole or two holes ago with a dumb upshot. So it feels like we're 400, but we're actually one. And I hit the one branch up there. I I can't do this anymore. See, this is what I'm saying about eight, nine, and 10. Like you can bogey them so dumbly in the dumbest ways. So yeah, I'm gonna throw a forehand shot left and see if I can sneak through. There's a million guardian trees. and I hit the tree next to the basket. Thank God, because that was going 50 deep. But it does give us a little wrinkle. We got a putt around a tree. This is gonna be interesting. Catching the right, we got a bunch of birdie holes coming up, so let's get to it. All right, this is hole 11, it's 392. We're not birding this. Ironically, I said last hole that we're gonna do the birdie holes, so this is not one. We got one more to get through. Early release, got nervous to yank it. All right, because I'm a psycho, I'm going for that gap right there, so. Uh, I actually don't even know. I think I'm going with a rift here. All right, hitting the gap. Watch. So I think it's too early to say that I'm not getting the four under, but I gotta bogey this. 
This is definitely an opportunity for double. Gotta throw a good shot here. Not good. Yep. So this is a must make. Like there's four birdie holes left that I know that are available, not five. So we have to make this to stay at a even par. Dude, why is this so stressful? Dream is alive, hole 12, 285, basket is in the woods on the, on the right. So you gotta throw a sky forehand shot, let it crash. This is about maybe 40% chance of burning. So gotta throw a good tee shot here though. That's the first part. Yeah, definitely flexed out. Finish hard and get lucky. Yeah, we're not making this one, but we'll give it a run. We got a really good kick through these trees. So we got about 45 to the basket. Oh my, dude, I'm making some circle two putts, but I just can't throw the disc. This has been the most up and down round ever. If I, you told me we got the whole 13 being one down, which we are, then I'd say, okay, we're right on track, but it's been the most up and down way to get there. So 245 baskets just left of that tree. Gonna throw a low shot here, skip to the basket. Hopefully we just happen for, for a birdie. Or ace it, or ace it. Oh my gosh! Guys, I've been waiting so long for an ace. I thought I had it. Dude, my heart is still racing, guys. The only bad part about that is, is that now I've got, you know, this putt here for birdie. Oh, let's go, man. What a hole, guys. Whew, this round is gonna give me an all-star, I swear. All right, guys, we're two down. Hole 14, 357, very difficult hole. Gonna throw a forehand shot with the uh, proto driver and just Try to get it down the fairway, have an upshot and birdie, but we know how that goes. It's really high and right. We're gonna go fishing in the woods now, I know. All right, here we go. I'm trying to figure this one out. Basket is behind this tree, about 100 feet. Gonna have to do some trick shots, I think. I'm gonna throw a cap wrap low forehand. We'll see what happens here. Need a good one, man. We got through and I bet we're parked. That was stupid lucky. Yeah, I didn't deserve that. Maybe I did, I don't know. But getting away from here with par is nice. Two under, and now we're finally at some birdie holes in a row, so we gotta rack them up. We got three good ones left. We gotta bear down here. We gotta get two out of the last three birdie holes. We got four holes left, but three birdies holes. So we gotta really get, we gotta bear down here. Gotta get this first one. Get out, get out of it. Not good, terrible. Flexed it, man. I'm struggling with the forehand today. That's my whole game too. Sorry guys, this is hole 15, I screwed up. So uh, yeah, this is a bad roll away, but we really need to birdie this because I birdie this like 90% of the time. So I'm just gonna run it and see what happens. This could be that 10% that I don't, but we're gonna give it a shot, we'll see. Not even close. Yep, man. This is a bad one to miss. This is like my bread and butter hole with a forehand too. All right, kind of put myself in jail here. Let's see what I got. Oh, it's not too bad, okay. We got this. Yeah, we're good. I have to buckle down here and get this one. I haven't thought if I would be embarrassed to, to not get the 400 or not here after I shot like 10-10 rate on my last challenge with one less disc, so. Don't. Stick, go in. So buzzing the tower was cool and all, but now I've got this putt with a branch on my face. So we gotta zoom a putt here and see if we got it. We gotta get this one. There's you know nothing else I can say. Gotta get it. So I decided this weekend I was gonna get rid of those putters and put a bead in the bag. But as you've seen, I've made everything. And I've thrown bad. I don't know what to do. So this hole is hole 17, 330. Um, I normally throw a backhand low scooter around the tree on the right, but I'm gonna throw a flex forehand and see if that does something. This is that proto driver. Get out of it. Nah, it just held. All right, yeah, we normally par this and that's what we're gonna do. All right guys, I have a look for birdie here. Um, and listen, when you're hot, you stay hot, so. No. 
It's a good layup part. We're moving on. Next hole, we're birdie, and then we're done this challenge. All right, hole 18. We're here. 210 downhill. Basket's on the right down the middle there, next to the pine. I can either go straight savior, or I can go to cap wrap. I think I'm gonna do a cap wrap and just try to crash it in the basket. So we need this birdie. We're three down. We gotta get the four. So we gotta get this one. It's gotta get down quick. Dig. It's up on the hill. That's gonna be tough, man. Well, guys, you won't believe this. Landed there, thought I was gonna have an open look for birdie. Another roll away, man. Knowing you just realize it's just not your day. I think that's just what today is. It's a beautiful day though. Yeah, decent run. Didn't reach our goal. Three under. What an adventurous round though. Just a bunch of rollaways as you've seen today. And you know, I've learned a lot. Let me tap this in real quick. So, learned a lot. Learned that four discs is all it takes to shoot a good round, not five. But um, I've learned, I gotta learn a little bit more about the cap wrap because that's kind of newish back in the bag. Gotta figure out the stability. Gotta figure out my off shots with the savior or the chicane whenever that comes. But thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.